Hey guys, what is up? Quick video coming at you from me, I guess. I don't know how to start a video, and it's been like 12 years since I started a YouTube channel. Today's video is what I promised you. It's a debloat script for the Microsoft Surface Duo at a root level. So watch my previous video if you want to learn how to root your Surface Duo. This video takes it one step further and makes it as close to quote unquote AOSP as possible. Um, the apps that are removed are all listed up here. Company Portal, Edge, which is replaced with Chrome, Game Pass, Lens, Office, OneDrive, OneNote, Outlook, Teams, Tips, To Do, YouTube, and YouTube Music, which are both replaced with the Vanced Manager, which does still work, especially if you have root. I still need to install them both. I forgot. Grant root permission. I already did, you silly. Anyway. Uh, I like light black. I am installing Vance. Sorry, I got sidetracked. It's my ADHD. But as you can see here, Vance Manager, Chrome, and Dbloat. This is just a zip file for you guys to download. Making a Dbloat script is actually very simple. So if you want to know the entire list of everything that's installed on your phone as far as packages, it's a very long list, but you can actually just ADB shell. You don't need root for this. You can ADB shell PM list packages, and it'll tell you every single thing installed on the device. Very nice. Although that's the difficult way to do it, in my opinion. You know me, I like doing things the easy way. So I have Quick Shortcut Maker here, and what I do is I just open up Quick Shortcut Maker on my phone, and I just look at the packages that it finds. Why is the... I need to restart this phone. It's failing to install YouTube for some reason. Anyway, so maybe I shouldn't uninstall stock YouTube and just let root overwrite it. Tried to downgrade the package, uninstall updates from the stock app and try again. Strange, never had that happen before because YouTube shouldn't be installed on this phone anymore. Anyway, whatever. Maybe you just need to do a reboot, which I will add at the bottom here to ADB reboot system. So making a script is very simple, especially with root. You do ADB shell PM uninstall dash K dash dash user zero, and then the package name. And like I said, this removes a lot of crap and this does it at a root level, which I think is wonderful because you can hide them, but you can't uh, completely remove them without root. And that's what I wanted to do was just make this thing as close to AOSP as basically possible. And right now that's basically where it is. I have um, not that many apps installed. Oh, YouTube is still installed. Weird. I told you to uninstall, you little snot. Anyway, but yeah, you just put the package name in and then you run it. And this also has the installers in it for other apps to replace them. Because I thought, at least on mobile, I like Chrome out of anything else. And also, uh, advanced for YouTube because of my skip and sponsor spot skip and all that ad block and all that. The only other thing I would like to add to this is Addaway for people who want an ad block. Which I guess I shouldn't force things on people, but you know, whatever. Slash releases. There we go. Give me that APK, you little. Why do I keep saying that today? So I'm going to add this at the bottom because Addaway is fantastic. This is by far the best root-based echo installing Addaway ad block. My keyboard is so loud. ADB install Addaway.apk. There we go. I'm going to add that. Uh, uh, come on. Uh, it's not going to let me. What a dick. Yes, I want to add that. And then I have to replace the script, obviously. 
But that's how you get rid of everything on one of these phones. It's legitimately that easy. So if you guys want to download this, I will make a post on XDA with this package. And I will link it in the description. And I hope you guys enjoy. It's very simple. You just simply make sure you have ADB uh, installed system wide, run the script, hit enter to start the script. And for me, obviously, it's going to fail a bunch of stuff because they're already uninstalled. Um, but other than that, it does take a minute for the launcher after reboot to uh, get its shit together because for some odd reason uninstalling company portal seems to have a negative impact on the device at first and it just the the launcher just doesn't launch and you might get a uh, close app or like force close just hit wait it'll pop up eventually I promise but other than that that was the quick video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Peace out.